speaking speaking to audiophiles, do you have moments of doubt, doubt and pain, doubt and shame? Why do we do this thing? Why, why, why? And the answer is pleasure. We get pleasure from listening to music over great audio systems. Is that it? That's it. That's what this is for. It's to deliver, it's music delivery, right? To you over your head and headphones or over speakers. It's about music delivery that stirs you. Why else would you do it? Why else would you put all this time and money and energy into it? Because you get something out of it, right? And I think audiophiles are too inhibited, too shy, too introverted to, to exclaim. We get, we love it. We get something really powerful out of it. You know, last time I, I checked, Jimi Hendrix is dead. Duke Ellington is dead. Bob Marley is dead. The Beatles are no more. But in my house, they live. They live in my house. And in yours, if you, if, you, if you so care, to try to make them, to revive them, right? You can do it if you try. You can make it if you try. No, seriously, it's, it is about that. It's about connecting to music. Now, of course, the Rolling Stones still exist, <laughs> sort of, right? But they're 75 years old, uh, the band. Well, the band is only 50-something years old, but the guys are 70 in their 70s. I don't want to hear the 75-year-old Rolling Stones. I want to hear the 22-year-old Rolling Stones, the 27-year-old Rolling Stones. And I can any time I want. They're right here, right in this room. I get to hear them at their peak, their, pe their physical peak, their creative peak. It's all here. It all comes flooding back. And I play that Rolling Stones Now record I, I bought when I was 16 years old, and I still have it, and I still play it. It's a time capsule, right? What, what is more uh, emotionally satisfying to hearing that music that you love? Uh, that's for me. That's what I love. But whatever music you love, you know, maybe you've got to hear Maggot Brain one more time to stir your soul. Whatever works, Masters of Reality. <coughs> whatever works. Your, your, your drug is not my drug, or my drug isn't your drug. But it's this music delivery system. It's about pleasure. It's about a pleasure machine that's called an audio system, or as I prefer, a hi-fi. I hate audio. I hate that phrase, audio system. It's not an audio system. It's a hi-fi. It's a high-fidelity transportation device. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm worked up. I just was watching this uh, Rolling Stones little bit of a documentary on YouTube and I saw this thing and it, and it was about s circling around pleasure that what made the stones jump out of the pack right away in the mid 60s was m even more than the Beatles their physicality the way they moved on stage all of them not just Mick they just transmitted something to the audience and the audience transmitted something back to them and the rest is history. And unfortunately for the Rolling Stones, it is history. It's in many decades ago when they had that power. Um, now they're just running on fumes and <laughs> still get hundreds of thousands of people to see them and whatever floats your boat. But me, I don't need to see the 75-year-old Rolling Stones or the 75-year-old Eagles or the 70... No, I don't care. I don't need to. I got, I got the, the best versions of everybody's art locked in grooves or locked in zeros and ones on CDs. I'm a happy camper. And I hope you are too. Oh, my name is Steve Guttenberg and I am the Audiophiliac. This is the Audiophiliac Daily Show. And it does come up daily, so please check it out as often as possible. Subscribe to this YouTube channel if you really, really like it. Share the videos that you like. Um, do all that social media stuff, and I would be thrilled. Uh, if you ever see me on the street, please say hi. Uh, you see me at a show. I'm, I'm going to be coming up to the Axe Bonus Show in Chicago in April. I'm going to be doing a one-on-one -on -one conversation there with the, with the great and very much alive, um, the man himself, the one that you know, you love him, you can't, you can't, you can't live without him, uh, and I can't think of his name. No, I'm just kidding. Andrew Jones. He's going to be there. We're going to discuss the art of speaker design, and uh, I can't wait. Actually, I can't. Anyway, hope to see you there. 
and I'll see you back here, hopefully before that. See you soon.